What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. I am excited for this new Pokemon experience. My channel is home to some of the most popular Nintendo videos on YouTube. When I first played Pokemon Sword and Shield, the first episode got over 7.3 million views and that's all thanks to you all leaving over 89,000 likes. I would be thrilled if this video got even a fraction of that so please drop a like on this video. I'd like to give a special shout out to my members but if you're not a member yet, thank you for subscribing. We're on the road to 5 million subscribers. Subscribers. It's around the corner. That's incredible, and I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't subscribed to Zach Scott Games yet, now is your chance. I will do my best to bring you even more awesome videos. Just let me know which games made you subscribe and which games you want to see me play in the future. Now, without further ado, let's play Pokemon Legends Arceus. Here we go. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. <laughs> Why are they speaking like thou art? I am I am that which humans call Arceus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. <laughs> uh, you know, I just always go with the basic, uh, the most, like, the, the default, the one it selects for me initially. I don't try to change up the hair or anything. What is thy name? I do change my name, though. Or at least I give myself a name. Y'all know me. Still the same old Z. Z Dog is my name. In Pokemon games. Z Dog. That looks good. Z Dog. Soon thou, thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. It's already strange that they talk like this. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Z Dog. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Do I really have to? <laughs> Do I gotta find them all? We'll see about that. We'll see what happens. But a brand new Pokemon game, different in style. We're gonna see what this is all about here. As I awaken from my, oh geez, my slumber in the void. Is that my Pokédex? Looks just like a smartphone. Could just be a phone. What's happening? Oh wow, hello. Thank you. That's Arceus, right? All right. <laughs> Here we go, starting a brand new game. I'm excited if you're excited. Pokemon Legends Arceus. This means they could, in theory, make infinite amounts of Pokemon Legends games. Just put the name of a Pokemon after the title. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? <laughs> Holy cow, I'm being surrounded. Are you alive, my boy? Oh, hello. What is going on here? I'm on a beach. I want the fire when I always go with the fire when it seems. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? <laughs> I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? Me, Z-Dog does that. I must say your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. <laughs> I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I could find a place if I had to, I guess. There's a house right there. I'll just stay in the garage. So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. True, I don't know what to do. 
I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew. Foom. Sp splish splash. I'm going to go with the guy who said foom. Oh, my. I completely forgot, and I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. I'll take them all. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do, because I've played, like, tons of games now. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, huh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Can I have one? Oh, yes. And what might your name be? It's Z-Dog. Oh, so you're called Z-Dog. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine must it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three... What? What? They ran off before he could finish... I could finish reading what he said. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg of you. I think you just said I beg you. Wait, you three. Wait. Where art thou? Uh... <laughs> All right, so uh, did they go over here? No, of course they didn't, but I just kind of want to get a feel for this. The water is looking pretty interesting. This is like a proper like 3D Pokemon game. Buildings and such all around. Uh, I'm just going to take a look and see if I can find anything. What is this? Okay, yeah, that's the menu, I guess. Can I go in this house? No, okay, well, I'll just go over here. And yeah, look at what is this? What's what's glowing there? Is that my Pokédex? There's a glowing beeping object over there. I'll talk to it <laughs> or investigate one of those two. What is going on? Okay. You found something that resembles a phone. So we do have phones in this universe. It's probably your phone, <laughs> but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. So he changed my phone shape. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Why all? Oh, because the slogan. Got to catch them all. That's why. Okay. Easy. I just got to find all Pokemon. How hard could that be? Probably pretty hard. <laughs> all right. But he's over here. I don't see any other Pokemon. Okay. Sigh, alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you, give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Alright, no, that's not my favorite. This one is probably the one I'm going to go for. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irate. Boom! That's the one I'm going for. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on, on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Splish Splash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy, Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. All right, I got 50 of them. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the crafting. You know, I didn't read much about this game, but crafting? <laughs> ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon... And why the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. All right. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. 
I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it for me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Such a shame. Uh, so throwing a Pokeball, I hold down ZR to ready the Pokeball, then take aim. And then, uh, then what? Release the ZR. Easy. Easy. With the Pokemon, if you run out of balls, just do say the word. I still got my balls. Um, okay, there's there's the Alet thing over here. Let's see how this works. It'll be nice not to battle them. Boom! Easy. That was cool. Now what? Oh, now it's in. Whoa! Holy cow. Oh, wonderful, you've caught a Pokemon. It seems you're, you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Z-Dog. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, we're, there's one. Here we go. Woo-boom! Now stay in there. Hopefully you don't burst out. I like the firework effect. I can hardly believe it, Z-Dog. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? All right. No problem. I'll go find the other one. Where was the other one? By the water somewhere? There's... There it is. Whoa! <laughs> I hope it stays in there. Lo what the? Ah, oh, yes. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs can are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Ha ha ha! All right, stick. All right, pretty cool. There you go, all three Pokemon. Can I have one, please? Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bottled, uh, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd be, you come falling. But I must say, Z-Dog, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you can catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. All right, I got this Arc Phone. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an Arc Phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon, aka a Pokedex. <laughs> we in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You've convinced me. Let's do it. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with an open with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. This might be the first game where I actually complete a Pokedex. First things first. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Alright, so here we go to Jubilife Village. He has an awesome looking hat. Uh, okay. That looks ominous. <laughs> Am I right? I mean, I'm just looking at that like, what is that? Oh, wow. This, what the heck? It's like a medieval town? What is this? Not medieval. <laughs> okay, thank you for your tireless work helping keep us... Uh, okay, sorry. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. They got wicked sideburns. Those guardsmen. 
All right, so I look worried. This village looks pretty cool. A lot of houses I can maybe go into. This way, if you please. I do, please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way thanks to the, the fine people of the... Who? What? This road we're on now is known as the locals as Kanala Avenue. Oh, wow. They're all talking. This village was built scarcely two years ago. I understand you must be more than a tad curious about the village, but do follow me. Okay. And since we know so little of the Loki poke local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot. I can't read it fast enough now. That impressive building up ahead of us is Galaxy Hall, headquarters for this entire outfit. We're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. They're all talking. Who's that with the professor? Man, they are all talking to me, basically. Oh, botheration. I've, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. All right, I'll, I'll go wait at the canteen, I suppose. I'm getting a phone call. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Perfect. Where do I need to go? Wait, whoa. The map and its markers. Use the button. Uh, oh, the minus button to view uh, the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. You'll also see guidance markers when out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions. Try to spot one of these markers and head for it. Got it. Perfect. All right, so uh, that's that's where I'm going, right? Can these? Can I talk? Can I go in these buildings? Oh my gosh. Okay, not now. You better head to the wallflower. There's so many buildings to go inside of. Do you want to talk? We've no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily battle, you know. All right. Well, I'm no freeloader, ma'am. I don't know if I should talk to these people. What's up, kids? This region is huge. And there's lots of dangerous Pokemon, too. But you came here anyway. How come? Back in my hometown, I've got an older brother who's going to inherit my the family farm and all. But I'm going to make my own way here in Hizui. How do I say that? Hizui. Man, I have to say that a lot, I bet. <laughs> Why do I say that word? Hizui? I don't know. Hizui. Kanala Bridge. Kanala Bridge. Got it. I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Bellamy. Is this a house? This is pretty cool. This is pretty immersive. I'm going to go, what's up? Hi. Does he have a green mustache? <laughs> what? Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? <laughs> I guess so. The wallflower is for galaxy team folk only. You don't. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. All right. Who's this? Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly the one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take my bed. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Oh, there he is. Professor! But everything will be quite all right now. Z-Dog has agreed to help us with our Pokédex. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow it. There's a Captain Silene. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the is it is it core? Do you just how do you pronounce corpse? <laughs> Whatever. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. Uh, you may call me Silent. It's probably core, right? Survey Corps. I don't know. How do you say? Oh, hold on. Uh, anyway, forget it. You you may call me Silene. 
All right, Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. That's true, that's true, I did. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Hold on, I think it says core, right? Hold on, I'm listening on my phone. Core. Yeah, core. I don't know why I said corpse, it's core. That's how you pronounce it. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Yep, quite old enough, quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply t take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. I came from the sky, what more do you need to know? Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, ho a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. All right. The cool thing about having a phone now these days, I mean, like, you can just know how any words pronounce. There's no reason to not know. <laughs> Aloof, as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, huh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi. Mochi. <laughs> mochi? I don't know. <laughs> if you please. But make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi. Mochi. Never, never fail to please. What is he going to say about that? All right, Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Uh, that's a good, that's a good, from the sky, obviously. Ah, well, you know of the great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? Uh, our new friend fell right out of it. So I'm looking up, I was looking up Moki, Mochi. That's probably Mochi. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, you can't be serious. Come now, I'm a scientist. Mochi. Mochi, there it is. It's Mochi. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. So we learned two words today, core and Mochi. Now you already know there are many Pokemon here in the, <laughs> in the Zooey region. <laughs> Zooey region? I mean, there's the, that's just like an original name, right? Is there like a is there a pronunciation for that? Hizui? I'm gonna just say Hizui, Uh if I don't see any other uh, reason to pronounce it any other way. Uh, so yeah, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if that's. I mean, I think it's Hizui, right? What what else? I don't know. Maybe it's. Oh, it means. It's a name in Japanese. I don't know if I'm going to be able to learn how to pronounce it. But anyway, here in the Hizui region, let me know in the comments below. That way I'll pronounce it correctly in like the future videos. That there are in the grass and forest by water or wherever they like. Our job as a survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Are they? It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Z-Dog will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. <laughs> that can't be true. <laughs> that means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Benny's here. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? What's with your green mustache, dude? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow pro progress on the Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Z-Dog. And think, if you can, if you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all of its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. All right. Sounds good to me. Chomp, chomp. Gobble it down. It's nighttime now. All right. I took a long time to eat. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. 
Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Z-Dog has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Z-Dog's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Z-Dog, was it? For tonight, at least. We will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Alright. But if you fail to pass a trial we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. <laughs> so harsh. I'm going to do it, though. I'm going to pass. Captain Silene, somewhat like Hizui in that they're both quite harsh. <laughs> I need to know how to pronounce that. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, huh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. All right. Yes, good night. All right, now... So that's the where I came out of. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. So that's where I came from? All right, in an unfamiliar land, head to the Survey Corps quarters you've been assigned. All right. So hey, do you want to apologize? They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my suit foot roots to make my potato mochi tasty. I'm going to go talk to these people before we do anything else. Are you looking for someone? There's a crafting table. This must be some kind of a workbench. Can't do it yet. That's fine. Can I go in people's houses yet? Not now. You, but I'm, I'm glad. I. Uh. What's up? The galaxy team is made up of several corps. Let's see. There's the security, construction, and agricultural corps. And a few others besides. It's so hard for me to pronounce it as core rather than corpse. The saying. Commander Kam Kam Kamado is fantastically strong. Rumor has it he once sent a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. Okay. The captain of the Survey Corps, Silene. I wonder if anything actually scares her. Now, who might you be? I haven't seen you here in the village before. I don't know if it's useful to talk to all these people. A new hairstyle means a fresh outlook, and a fresh outlook lets you change your fortunes. <clears throat> I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hon. Where might they be from? All right, let me just go in the where I'm supposed to go. And uh, yes, yes, here I am. This is a pretty big place. Sleep until morning in the futon. But wait. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top of it to keep debris from falling in. Alright, well I'm going to go over here. What is this? A journal? What is this? Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hizui region. <laughs> To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu and go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't you wish your toils to don't, don't wish your toils to be forgotten? Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu. Scroll, there's and it'll also auto-save. So cool. So up. There it is. Save your progress. All right, I'm in Jubilife Village. Save my progress. Let's take a nap. Yes, rest until tomorrow morning. Beautiful views. Oh, geez. I bet it's Hizui. Because the eyes would be pronounced the same. The next day. Who's there? Good morning, Z-Dog. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? I was asleep. Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it your all. Our all. All right, go to the... Let me get out of here really quick. Wait, wait, what's this? 
The chest looks like you could store lots of items in it. Is this going to be my house? I hope so. A nice fire in the second hearth can help keep the entire room heated. And you can also uh, cook with it as well, I imagine. Let's get out of here. What lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. All right, where are we going off to? I wonder what a Starly would be like. What's up? You could throw spoiled apricorns at wild Pokemon to make them drop their defenses. Then they'll be easier to catch. Now, who am I? I haven't seen you in this village before. Yes. So where am I going? Oh, up over here. Are you going to say the same thing? You're, you didn't sleep last night. Commander, command. Oh, yeah, I've, we've heard this before. We've heard that story. Let's go in here. Ba -da -da -da. The Survey Corps offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. Who's this? The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere attacking from all sides. I sent, I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. All right. Captain Silene, Z-Dog is here. You may enter. All right, let me in. I'm ready for my trial, or I'll be tossed out to my death. <laughs> Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start, no one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. And I'm going to be like the... like. Not only will I prove that I'm an asset, I'll prove I'm the only one who can do it. <laughs> Somehow. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. There we go. Looking good. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Why? You would just throw me to my death anyway. The <laughs> mission, the Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Activate the guide. Guiding now active. No, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Press Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone. You can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and, give, uh, and given by people you meet. Pardon, Z-Dog. Come with me a moment. All right. What are we doing? Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Laventon? In order to complete our Pokédex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Z-Dog absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokémon, I've got just a ticket to help accomplish that. Yes! I'm picking the one on the left. The one that goes, foom. But not the plish plash, never. <laughs> Go on, Z-Dog, pick the Pokémon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokémon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they'd rather, they're rather they rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Uh, this one, please. Cyndaquil. Foom! Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Uh, yes. So, let's see right here. Do I get to name him now? Uh, Cyndaquil. Becomes Quilava. Is that the final one? Or, uh, hold on, Cyndaquil Pokedex. Uh, becomes Quilava. Then, oh wow, then 
Uh, Typhlosion. Interesting. So there will be a T Dog. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Very interesting. So it goes Cyndaquil to Quilava to Typhlosion. And I always look that up because, you know, I got to know what he becomes, right? I think so. And then uh, let me just double check that. I think that's the truth. That's like the that's the evolution that it goes through. And let's see. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a oh there's a oh a Hisuian form. But let's not spoil anything. Um all right. So Good show. I've tucked Cyndaquil back inside its Pokéball for you, so take it. It's yours. There we go. These, these Pokeballs look kind of, uh, I don't know, rustic, medieval? I don't know what the word is. You received Cyndaquil. All right. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain Pokemon when you're out in the field. All right. I'm going to catch these as well. No. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. That could very well that that could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Z Dog fell out of the sky. After all, well, not to worry, you two. I'll have to add, uh, I'll have you assist me with my research for now. All right. By the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Honestly, I don't remember now. <laughs> well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Thank you. 20 Pokeballs. That's all I'll need. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a as a they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have these trials cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Alright. Will do. Will do. Uh can I explore anything else in here? Or are we good? What's up? Up on the third floor is the office of the Galaxy Team's commander, Kamado. You're not going up there until we know a little more about you, Mr. Kid. What's in here? Wow, this is the professor's room. Looking very snazzy. I like it. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Sup? You got a lot of papers. You know what is expected of you. Now it is up to you to see things through. And then what's over here? We're running low on potions. Guess I'll need to go and gather more materials. It's safe here in Jubilee Village. Don't forget you can always return here to rest and recover. There's a people resting. Can I go bother them? Hey, hey, recover, recover. All right, uh, anything else of interest in here that I should, I mean, I never know like whether to explore, like, you know, how, how deeply should I explore a place when I first find it, you know what I mean? I'm inclined to just like, go, go, go. Now I'm on the basement. What's up, dude? We're in the middle of, uh, we're in the middle of nowhere out here. We have to make what we need ourselves. It may be a small thing, but it sure feels great to be able to make what's needed for the team. All right, so this is the, I guess a crafting area. And maybe that's all that's down here that I can v visit for now. Oh, geez. <laughs> hey, um, where'd you come from? Your clothes look kind of weird. Yeah, well, your clothes look weird to me. Calling me weird. All right, well, I'm going up. I'm leaving. Don't worry. I just want to see if there are any more ha hallway boys. Now, he says I'm not going up. He says you're not going up until... But what if I go up this way? Ah, oh, dang. He's stopping me from this. Okay. Well, I had hopes. I had dreams. They were crushed. Let's leave. All right. Hey, hey. What's up, dog? Oh, yeah. He's, he's fantastically strong. I know. I know. So I'm leaving now. Oh, this way. We're going out this way. Fair enough. I'll see what's going on. Hey, kids. Some lovely paintings. Pokemon to terrify me. Even going out to gather berries is the worst. All right, sup? Sup? 
Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for anyone, any of your merchantile needs here in Hizui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tell I like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good, dude. This will be my first battle. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose it if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. That's how it works. I know the drill. Here we go. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenge you to battle. Send it. All right. Send a quill, go. Okay, so this is interesting. Whoa, whoa, he's moving towards me. Uh, fight. Quick attack. Now, are these any sort of real-time battles, or are they just, they just, I don't think they are. Okay, that was a pretty big tackle. Uh, I have another quick attack ready for you. Uh, okay. Another tackle. Oh my gosh, this this quick attack better freaking hit. It's a quick attack, so that's good. And he reached zero, not me. Now I gotta go heal my dude, dude. Battle decided. Moves, items, use them well and the world will open up to you. Okay, they healed. Oh no, I leveled up. And I got a new move. Okay. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change move option. Oh, that's cool. That means they don't have to like go to like a move learner dude or whatever. But so few people have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battles recover our two battlers recover from their little ex exercise. So that was my experience that went up. Now you just healed me. Okay, I got it. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Thank you. Five potions. A topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on, on that trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members means uh, more customers for yours truly, after all. So he hopes I doesn't die so he can sell stuff to me. I got it. I got it. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell rest the guardsmen where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Got it. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Let's do it. Let's go. Have I talked to you? Your Z Dog, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. All right. Uh, yeah, this is it. The Obsidian Field Lands. So this is Jubilee Village. This is the Obsidian Field Lands. Got it. Yes. Okay. So wait, I... Okay. So I don't just walk out of the village. I just... All right, here's here's me in these... Okay, cool. Is that a quick travel or how did that work? I don't even... This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? So we got Bidoof, Charlie, and Shinx, right? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Uh, well, you see... Captain Sileen got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our uns unsparring captain. But what help exactly could you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Z-Dog's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me then. Well, how about the responsibility lies with me? I'm the one doing it. Well, I'm sure Z-Dog will be fine. Let's begin the trial. All right, here we go. 
Catch a Bidoof, the first Pokemon species you'll need for... Okay. I hear things in the background. You need to switch up your Pokemon or buy item. No, I'm, I'm good. Here we are. Beautiful scenery here. Look at my mouth. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. It's beautiful. What can I say? Obsidian Field Lands. All right. And along comes a Bidoof. Time to get ready to... Okay. <laughs> I didn't even... I'll get him. I'll get him. Do I got to fight him at all or can I just catch him like the last ones? The key to is, is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. All right. Got it. Oh, hold on. ZL to focus. Okay. Got it. But do if I say mellow disposition, that means it tends to not run from people. So this will be easy. All right. Well, what? Who's that up there? Oh, did she run ahead? What? Okay, I guess she ran ahead. I was confused for a moment there. What? What's up? You ought to be able to catch up a doof with a well-thrown Pokeball. Stay. I'll be ready if not. Got it. You caught a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Now, surely, are you telling me no one else in this town could do, like, three of these? I don't know if I want to be a part of a town where they're not capable enough to catch these Pokemon. <laughs> catch a Starly. Okay, here we go. I want to be Link and just cut down this grass. All right. I hear things all around, but there's the Starly up ahead. All right, there. Okay, easy enough. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. Startly. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Can I just throw a ball from a distance? Okay, I'm going to learn how to... Okay, B to crouch. Got it. All right, all right. I'll try to just crouch. Where'd the bird go? Oh, wow. It has like a... Crouching. Boom! Got it. I love the fireworks effect. That Starly, uh, that Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Easy, right? Maybe. That's the Shinx. I keep hearing voices up like all around me and it's freaking me out a little bit. I kind of want to Are you sure you know where you're going? No, I don't. I'm just looking. Let me look. I forgot there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Does it involve these trees? Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokéball. As Captain Silene tells us, have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokémon? Press X. Have a Pokémon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. The captain's a real expert on these things. All right, so I'll press X. Look at that tree. Try throwing your Pokeball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. All right, so it's gave me a couple things to do. Uh, so I want to throw this thing at the tree, right? Whoa, thank you. Okay, and whoa, they got experience for that too, right? That's pretty useful. What about this rock? What just happened? Okay, come back. I don't, I don't know where I'm going, okay? We've already established this. <laughs> Numerous times. Uh, so I want to do Pokeballs here. I also have a berry... If that will work to calm, calm it down, you know. Where is it? I don't see it quite yet. There. That's Shinx. Whoa. All right. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? More or less. I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. 
Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. All right. So I needed to be green, right? Okay, so it tells you how easy it is to catch. Great. Oh, and if it's picked a fight, I can't be caught unless I engage them in battle. Got it. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once you're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold, <laughs> you'll hold your own in battle. All right, let's do it. So just start a Pokemon battle. Just throw a Pokemon at him, huh? I guess. That's how you do it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, man. He is aggressive. He sees me already. Are you kidding me? Okay, well. Ha! Let's go! All right, so I got a quick attack. Uh, plus Ember. Let's do Ember first. It went first anyway. There you go. The Wild Shinx was burned. Oof. So do I do I try to win this or do I just try to catch him now? So okay, he's attacking. He's burned again. So let's see, is this is this gonna work? Yes. Is it calm? I mean, how do I know? Boom, got it. I caught Shinx. Good job. You approached those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Indeed. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. Got all three, baby. All right. Oh, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Z-Dog. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Cheese. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, huh? All right, let's do it. Let's go. -na -na -na. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live uh, in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. Though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. <laughs> I do not know that I want to be part of this town who can't even handle these basic Pokemon. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. I somehow have this unique skill. I mean, how do they do it? How do they try? I, I, I want to know how they they probably mess this up. Can I go in here yet? Can I go into a random person's house yet? Oh, gosh, I can. Great. No one's here, thank goodness. Can I investigate things? Can I take their water, their supplies? Sleep in their bed? Okay, I don't, I don't actually want to explore people's homes too much. It might want me to. I don't know if it does. This is another home, right? Is anyone home? The load time to go into homes is a little annoying. Yo, this is my quarters. That's right. Ha! <laughs> I went to my own home. Thinking I was trespassing. All right, let's, uh, let's go talk it out. What are you cleaning? We have no food for freeloaders. So, okay, you know what? I've talked to you before about it. What's up? If you're going to live here from now on, I suggest you sign up with the Galaxy team. Will do. All right, so where to? We're we talking to Silene. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. <clears throat> we'll see about that. It seems we won't have to leave you, <laughs> leave you to die after all. Thank goodness. Congratulations, you passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. Now, hold on, you should send everyone in this town out to do what I did if they can't do it to let them die. Come on, why, whatever. <laughs> I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Thank you. 
All right, Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. The sandals? Get changed in the room you've used last night, then you'll re you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. All right, use the mirror in my quarters. When you're ready to get into uniform, make sure you use the mirror in your quarters. Yep. All right, so I just gotta go to my house. Get changed into my new uniform. I'm gonna look so cool. I'm part of the military now, basically. My skill is catching Pokemon, which no one else can seem to do. <laughs> so, here's the mirror, mirror on the wall. Change out, it's not even on the wall. Uh, do you wanna change your outfit? Why didn't they just put it on the wall? Maybe these walls are paper thin. Yes, change the outfit. All right, get it, got it. Good, Where? where's my uniform? There we go. And don't forget my sandals. I'm looking pretty good. Looking good. All right, I belong here now. I got a red scarf. You change it to your Survey Corps uniform? Going back, hopefully this is gonna make me uh, Where am I going? What's happening? We're twins! Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. What is it? What am I, oh, a hat. <laughs> I look good. Now present yourself to the commander. All right, so the commander Kamado in the office on the third floor. Where are you at, commander? It's a brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. Kichi. Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can help us solve them. Who's this guy in the corner? What are you doing? Get Pokemon to help with our manual work? No way, that's crazy talk. Where's this dude? Aha. Oh wait, it's a girl. This isn't even the person. Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone else falls out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Hello. Wait, where am I going? What? Oh, there's another floor. Oh, of course. So this is the second floor that I'm on. Are there any boys hiding in the corners over here? No boys. All right, well, we are going up the upstairs then. Here we go. Wow, he's, that's all that's up here. Okay, fair enough. What's up, Commander? Very cool. I like your mustache and your sideburns. I have been waiting for you. Good. Here I am. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are Z-Dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> hmm. I've been briefed in your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. I'm gonna charge him. Let's go! Hiya! <laughs> and he kills me. No. <laughs> hmm. You've got vigor. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might even see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed a trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you, Z-Dog, Pokémon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. <laughs> I am not scared by these. We'll see, though. They might throw something big at me. All right, mission. The Galaxy Team's entry trial complete. And I'm part of the team. I'm part of the crew. Very cool. All right. 
So the commander has also accepted you. But understand, understand this. You begin as a no star recruit among our ranks. In other words, okay, wait a second, back up, hold the phone, whatever, no star. I'm the only one who could do this and I'm a no star? I'm the only one in the whole village who can catch like three Pokemon and I'm and I, twice and I'm a no star, whatever. In other words, you have no rank at all. I don't like it. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward the, that goal of yours to seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. Nice. One Apricorn and one Tumblestone. And 3,000 as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. I can't find them. I have to buy them. All right. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think we'd be, uh, think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to Craftworks, to the Craftworks. So we're gonna do the basics of crafting, I assume. I hope it's not a big, big mission. I mean, visit the craft works to learn how to craft. Sounds good enough. I'm out of here. And, uh, well done earning a place on our, in our team. My name is Anth. I'm a local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you at a change of clothes that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I hope they fit. Well, thank you. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself to the village's humble shops. All right. This way to the craft work, Z-Dog. Don't want to keep her waiting, I guess. So let's see. There's, there's, there's the crafting table right there. All right, you can use the workbench here in the, at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. Uh, let's see. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Uh, just spend the money you got from the best on, from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. Uh, okay, so I'll use the workbench to craft it. All right, here we go. I do have one Apricorn and one Tumblestone, so we'll craft a Pokeball. Oh, easy, okay, great. It's not so hard, excellent. The basics of crafting complete. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to my the workbench, my boy. You, you'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. I got the Pokedex. There we go. And that's what I have to fill up. I've uh, seen seven, caught four. Do I have to catch them all, right? I don't know. Task with unreported data. What? It, what? Task. All right. I've caught these. And then how do I... Okay, okay. So the different... Okay. And then how do I... Hey, so, okay. Okay, whoa. Okay. Research tasks for Sphinx. For, I'm sorry, Shinx. Shinx's habitat. Weird. So, research level, okay. So I have to see it use Ember like 15 times. Seen it use Quick Attack like 15 times. 
and I'll need to do these research tasks. That's interesting. Okay, back up. Thank you. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokédex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you're ready, my good Z-Dog. <laughs> all right. Uh, there we go. Getting to work on research tasks. We'll probably do that next episode. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help it over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands Camp, uh, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. All right, so let's see what his request is really quick before I leave. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wormpool. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I mean, I have. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Lavenden, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience uh, through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. All right, since some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats, if one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a re reward in it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wurmple if you can. All right, Wurmple can evolve. All right, so cool. So I have a side mission and I have some main missions and I have more people to talk to. And uh, so is she gonna give me like another mission? You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have uh, to get out, must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I simply feel whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let, let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. So wait, did I, didn't I capture one? Hold on, wait. Have I not, I guess I haven't. Oh, what? okay, check the Pokedex. So, hold on. There's Starly, right? So I'm confused. So where where'd it go? I've caught one. So what did she mean like me to like complete complete it? Like completely complete it? Or I'm confused. Okay. Well, uh, let me talk to one more person, then I'll have to be on my way. But I think, uh, you know, leaving this town will be next episode. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the insides, but what are they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you the survey with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. All right, so can I... I have one, right? Got one of those things to show me? I do. Here it is. Check it. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. There they are. That's what they look like. That's it. Its, e it's ears have that yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. All right, so we completed that request. I'm a little confused about this Starly thing. Let me know in the comments below. And of course, I got to catch a Wurmple as well. So we'll be on our way to, to doing more of this game. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for liking this video. It means the world. I'll see you next time for more. See you for part two just around the corner. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.